Hi Capricorn, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your December 2017 love reading for singles. For the new subscribers, I want to thank you for being here. I'm very appreciative. I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for over 20 years giving channeled messages from my angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. And I'm also known on a worldwide basis giving one-on-one -on -one personal readings. For those of you Capricorns that have been with me from the beginning, I want to thank you for all the love and support that you have been giving me since the beginning of this journey on my YouTube channel. I appreciate all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your views. And I'm very humbled. Uh, I just have a few announcements just before I start the video here. Okay, uh, underneath this video, there's a little icon there. If you press on it, you will see all my information there. There's a couple of ways that you can contact me. Please join me on Instagram because I do a lot of live readings there. And I always I interact with my Soul Tribe family. And, um, you know, sometimes I do channel messages or sometimes I, we just, uh, you know, connect and interact. So um, I hope to see you there on my Instagram. So... Let's get straight to your reading, okay, Capricorn? As I was, um, as I was um, meditating in, uh, sorry, <clears throat> as I was meditating uh, in your cards, I started shuffling them. Um, I was getting bombarded with two different kinds, two sets of different kinds of messages, okay? The first set that I got was um, that a lot of you have been doing a lot of hard work. Now, I feel like you have been doing a lot of work on yourself a lot, okay? Or you may be working very hard at a job, like you're really putting a lot of work, or you've been working on yourself, because it, it, they, they kept showing me that you're working so hard, and it's as if you're carrying, like, bricks on your shoulders. Like, you're, like, really, like, you have a lot on your shoulders at this moment, okay, Capricorn? So that was one of the messages that I had. I also had that there's um, a financial, some of you uh, in the past uh, suffered um, financial loss, okay? They did, uh, that was shown to me. Uh, what was also shown to me was a twin flame, uh, also in your uh, in your energy, a twin flame union. And um, there's like, a, some of you, there was decisions that you had to make. I see celebration, like I seeing like ce celebration, uh, you being laughter, being with friends and family. And I also, I'm also seeing an, an unexpected messages that, an, um, not uh, unexpected messages, but one message coming from a certain somebody that was like, that's really going to throw you off, okay? Because you're, you're not going to be expecting it. But I also see victory, okay? So I also see victory as well. And some of you have to see a bigger picture. Something about seeing a bigger picture. Like there's something that you're not, like you're seeing something, but it's like you're focusing. I feel some of you are just focusing on what went, like on the things that went wrong. And you're not seeing the bigger picture around you. Um, what else am I seeing? I also, I'm, I'm also seeing that a lot of you are not sleeping at night. Uh, you're up at night. You're worried. Some of you are crying. Um, but these are the, some of the messages I'm getting. Again, now, this is a general reading, okay? So always, if this um, reading does not resonate with you, let's say something resonates and then the rest you're confused, that means it's not meant for you, okay, Cappy? But if you, uh, but you can always check your rising sign because I put my rising and my moon, the moon sign and the Venus. So check your rising moon and venus to get other messages okay because maybe you're not going to get them in your sun sign you might get them in your moon sign or in your rising sign and in, or in your venus because venus is a planet of love and i always use it in all my videos okay so let's get started with your reading so how we're going to do this is that i have two decks to clarify which is one and two i'm going to put over here we're going to start with this one okay uh, so i hope uh, you cappies have been having uh I don't know how you've been feeling uh, in the month of November, uh, if you've been having a hard time or not. I hope that you are doing well. I know a lot of you are working really hard on yourselves or you're working at a job very hard, I, you know. And uh, But I, I, it's nice to see that there's like, not for all of you, but there's some of, so for some of you, there's a twin flame that's coming into uh, in, into life in, in the month of December. Okay, so let's get started with your reading because I already shuffled the cards. So I'm going to just cut them here. Okay, and uh, we're going to start. So, now, a lot of you people, have, a lot of you, not people, I'm sorry, but a lot of you have been asking me why I shuffle my cards in the way that I do in this sideways motion. And I'm going to tell you this, okay? I have small hands, okay? I have small hands, and I try to do them in this fashion here, like this, but it, I cannot grip it. So the only way that I grip the, the cards, the only way that I could grip the cards is um, 
is is sideways okay but it doesn't matter because i always channel the messages through and i'm pretty accurate so uh the messages will come in it doesn't matter how someone shuffles the card but i do have a hard time <laughs> with uh with um with my hands okay because they i still have like kids i kid i, I still have kids hands <laughs> you know very small hands so um here i see like um beautiful things for you capricorn i'm so happy for you because i know you've been going through a lot uh, but I'm very excited to see the spread for you, okay? Very excited. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this is your energy that you're really... Can't, like, I feel like a lot of you have been working on yourself, like meditation, uh, really taking rest, taking the time. I feel like a lot of you have been clearing your chakras and doing a lot of meditation and taking a step back and, you know, going back and, like like, going back to see, like... You know, I feel like you've been, like, working a lot on yourselves, okay? And uh, and I feel like you're very calm at this moment. And you're, even your emotions are very, like, they're very much... There's, like, there's a lot of balance in your emotions, okay, Capricorns? Oh, wow. I'm going to have to show you this. Uh, well, let me just first shuffle the cards. I think what I did is five, one, two, okay, yeah. So this goes over here. Put this over here, here. Here, this goes here, and this goes here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, there's a wheel of fortune that's coming towards you, okay, right now. And uh, it's like this could be finances, love, uh, health, anything that in the past that did not go your way or something went wrong, uh, Capricorn, like anything that was not like just for you. Okay, um, it's coming in for you, and it's coming in, like the angels are working really hard at that, but it's it's in your present moment, okay, so um, maybe some, this is going to be in the month of December, so I feel for Capricorn, this is going to happen like the first week of December, you're going to get like, it's, there's some kind of vic like victorious, uh, like victory, I see victory, and while I was like shuffling the cards at the beginning, there's a song that kept like playing in my head, I don't know, you know, it's the first time that this happens to me, normally... And not, I don't get messages of songs, but the song that kept coming to me, Capricorn, for you was Against All Odds. I was hearing the song Against All, Hot, All Odds, you know, and um, from uh, Phil Collins, you know, if you want to uh, hear the song, I think there's messages in there for you. Like I said, the angels don't always reach us only by the num numerology. They all they also reach us by songs, okay? So there's sometimes there's messages and songs, okay, for the collective, okay? I feel this is someone from your past that's coming. I, I just feel that there's someone from your past now that's coming back, okay, uh, in the month of December for you. And I see that you're going to be getting together and, and you know, planning, uh, you know, planning, uh, you know, like, uh, not, when I say planning, okay, hold on, here is this, oh, it's not it, okay, uh, when I say planning, I mean, like, um, there's going to be a lot of, like, you getting together with them, uh, you know, like, going to restaurants, like, little, like, dates here and there, like, but it's, it's a start of something, okay? And the angels are saying here, uh, my spirit guide and my angels are saying to me, is that you have to keep your art open, okay? Now, a lot of you have been working on yourself, but you're not done yet, okay? There's still a bit more to go, okay? But you have to open your heart and be vulnerable. And I know that it's hard to be vulnerable, especially if you got hurt in the past, okay? Uh, it's very hard to be vulnerable. But they're asking you that to... Be vulnerable and to open your heart like that, your heart can be completely healed, okay? Because they want you to have beautiful blessings because it's coming in for you, okay? It's coming in for you. A lot of you could be dealing also with a with a Scorpio, okay? Another card. I need one more card. They asked me to take out one more card, so I'm going to... Not so many cards. Okay, let's see what else there is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I feel there's someone that's... I feel Capricorn, that there's somebody, somebody from the past that's coming back, okay? I feel there's somebody from the past that's coming back to offer you an apology. This is what I'm getting, okay? They're coming back and, and they're coming with passion and they're coming with passion and love and something that maybe in the past it did not... 
like evolve, like there was like, but now what I'm seeing here is that it could also be that you're dealing with a, with a Libra as well, okay? Or a Libra, I see Libra, I see water sign. Again, this is a general reading, right? So just remember that. But I feel that um, for a lot of you, you walked away from the situation in the past because you had no choice to walk away. You had to walk away not only from the person, but from the emotions. But you've been working so hard on yourself that like, you've been putting every so much in detail of everything that you have been going through, okay? I'm going to have to clarify. I the, the thing that I see here the most, uh, Capricorn, is that you need to keep the faith, okay? Your faith is pretty, is your faith is, is a bit low, okay? And, uh, but everything else, it's a beautiful reading. Look, you got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is that there is some, this is like in your present moment in December. So I feel for some of you, the first week or second week of December, but mostly the first week I'm getting, that there is something that's coming to you, back to you, okay? Once, let's say, let's say something was taken away from you or you lost something, whatever it was, a relationship could be finances or it could be friendships, it could be anything. It's coming back to you over here, okay? And you also got the victory card. Look at this. You got the victory card. So this is like really coming for you. And I'm so happy for you to see this because this is victory, okay? And not only that, there's celebration, okay? So you're going to be celebrating with family and friends, okay? So that's even like, I, I mean, you have beautiful cards. And there is somebody from the past that's coming back, okay? I see this, okay? And there's going to be a transformation going on when this person comes back because there's a bit like, yeah, but I walked away from this already and, you know, I'm not sure if I want to do this because, you know, Maybe the person, you know, in the past hurt you. Um, but justice is here, okay, for you, okay? And I feel it's going to be a very balanced relationship, okay? Uh, I got the Six of Pentacles, but I also got the Justice card. And I don't look at the cards like other people, so you could read them the way you want to. Maybe for you it's something else it means. I'm sorry for my dog that's barking. Um, so I see here there's the balance, right? So this shows me that it's equal. And over here... There's also a balance, okay? So I really think that this is more to do with you being in balance and the person that's coming back to you that's going to be back in balance, okay? So now we're going to clarify. I'm going to clarify first with these cards, and then if I need other cards, I will clarify with other cards. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2017. What are the messages? Because I already, I'm just going to show you one more time. Okay, here we go. Now it's ready. Capricorns. Now, again, okay, I feel that, that 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 Capricorn, you need to like there's something that you need to transform out of your life, okay? I really feel now this is not for all of you, okay, but from some of you I'm I'm feeling if there's a Capricorn male that's here watching this, okay, male, not female, male, okay, is that someone from the past is coming back and you really have to open your heart and be vulnerable to what this I feel that like you're going to be dealing with a water sign, okay? I really feel that it's a female water sign that's coming to you. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? And there's a lot of... like, it, It's beautiful. But the thing is, is that, you know, um, you need to open your heart into situ in, in a way that you didn't open your heart before because this is someone from the past, okay? And there is, there's like possibilities of having a future with this person here. Okay, but there was an imbalance in the past. There was an imbalance, okay? And it could be because, you know, um, I, feel, I feel like some of you have to walk away from this person from the past, okay? Maybe it's because your belief systems and their belief systems were not the same. This is what I feel here a lot, okay? But you are going to be going through a transformation. You are going to be going through it because you're coming in as a, with an apology. And at the same time, you're coming in as, like, someone's coming in as saying, like, they, they want to offer you like a new passion in your life. So I do feel that, okay? So we're going to go deeper into the reading. Now, if, I don't know if that made sense to any a man that's watching because I feel there's a somebody here that's going to come and see this for themselves because there's something that they need to see, okay? It's going to take a lot of hard work. It could be it's going to take a lot of hard work if this, this uh, for the man, I'm still talking for the man that's a, that's a copy here. Maybe it's going to take a lot of hard work f to be with this person, but... You know, you got the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, you know, that's this is a beautiful card, okay? So, let's see. I'm now going to clarify each card. And then I'm going to take my other cards and clarify these cards. 
I thought we could like see what's going on for you, Capricorn. Capricorn. My Capis. You know, I really appreciate and love you very much. And I think, is it Southern or... See, the mess there's going to be messages coming through, okay? Messages. And I feel some of you Capricorns, not this is not all of you, but let's say I feel that there's like you're talking to more than one person, and I feel that you're gonna you're gonna you're getting you're gonna be, be you're gonna be getting pulled in two different directions here, okay? And I feel a lot of you uh, have uh, had had uh, an emotional uh, not not sorry a financial loss. I see like a financial loss here, okay? A financial loss. So let's put this here. There we go. Let's check. I feel some of, for some of you Capricorns here also that you keep like that's 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 what I, the messages I keep receiving is that you're only looking at the things that went wrong, and you're not looking at what is around you. You're not looking at the blessing around you. You're only focusing on what went wrong, and I feel here some of you in the past had to deal with a third party situation. Okay, now that's not for all of you, but some of you, and it really like brought you to your like it really. You know, or there was some kind of like something that went really wrong, okay? And I really feel that uh, there was more than one, there was at least two people involved, okay, with you in the past, okay? And uh, it brought you to your knees. And you are healing from that, okay? You are healing from that. Okay, so let's check now over here. So, there you go. You have a soulmate that's uh, in your midst, okay, uh, Capricorn? There is a soulmate, okay, and this soulmate comes with the Six of Pentacles, okay, so uh, there is someone that's coming in for you in the month of December, that's, that's, uh, it's a, a soulmate relationship, uh, both sharing the same ideas and thoughts, and it's um, very equal, okay, it's very equal, and I love, like, in your love and sharing, uh, thinking, um, it's a beautiful, this is a really beautiful okay so we're gonna put these two over here and then we're gonna go on okay and oh i'm gonna have to take other cards if i have to okay so i feel there's not there's something that's not completed okay now i know this is a, a singles okay but i feel that it's not completed yet i feel that this has to, that not complete because the wheel of fortune okay is your obstacle card or your challenge card okay so there's something that this hasn't moved yet it's gonna be there soon i really believe that in the month of december cappy for you it's coming in because uh, i'm doing this now in the month of november the 23rd if i'm not mistaken or the 22nd of november okay so um but i feel that this is going to be coming towards you but i feel a lot of, it has to do also for for some of you it could also do with career Okay, finances. There's something that's not complete here, but with the wheel of fortune, it will be complete. I do believe in that. Some of you are dealing with it, are going to be dealing with a Scorpio, and there's going to be a transformation as well. Okay. Um, again, I'm getting like water energy, so I'm getting that someone's coming to you. A younger sign it could be someone that's younger than you, or uh, of, uh, but it doesn't have to be because it's a general reading um, of. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? And you're going to see things very clear. You're going to see things very clear. You're not going to be fogged up. You're not going to be, uh, you're not going to be like, um, like, um, like in your thoughts. So you're going to be very clear and you're going to be speaking your truth. And that there's nothing, not, and you cut out a lot of things around you, emotions, people, situations. I feel that. And that's why I see the, the victory. And a lot of you's, um, you know, have been taking so much, like, time for yourself, okay? Um, you're going inside, seeing the light, where the light, sh where the light shines, you are following through. And you could also be that you're going to be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Again, because it's a general reading, it could be anything, okay? It could be anybody. Because um, I'm getting a lot of signs here. I'm getting a lot of, so I'm getting also a uh, celebration here with the celebration card. I did get the Queen of Wands. So this could be a, um, a woman or a man, it doesn't matter because it's a general reading of Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, okay? Or it could also be, okay, uh, some uh, a, night, a, a younger Cap Capricorn, Taurus, or this is you, okay, uh, Taurus or um, Virgo, 
that's coming towards you, but this could also be a job that's coming towards you, something that uh, an offer of a, of work. I feel that for some of you are not working at this moment, or somehow you're on uh, like laid off or something. Like you're not working. Maybe there's an offer, but it's coming in very slowly. But it's coming in, okay? Because uh, there's going to be celebration, so there's going to be a lot of celebration around that. Um, now, again, you see, this is a confirmation. This uh, queen here could be a king or queen, it doesn't matter. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It's someone from the past, okay? So it's someone that from the past that's coming back uh, to you. Again, I got it twice in the reading, and I'll show you after the other one, but someone's coming back towards you, okay? From the past. And... Some of you are resisting this, I feel. Okay, some of you are going to be resisting this. Okay, next. Again, I, again, I'm getting a lot of water energy here at Capricorn, so I feel a lot of you are dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that's coming back from the past, okay? And uh, it could be an older gentleman, of course. Uh, very grounded, uh, or this is your you feeling this way, because I also feel that you're feeling this way at this moment, okay? You're feeling very grounded, calm, your emotions, because you did also get the four of uh, so, uh, this uh, four um, of swords here, okay? That it shows me here that you've been taking time for yourself, and uh, sorry for the glare, you, I know you've been meditating a lot, okay? So maybe this is you feeling this way. A lot of you don't want to, right now, I feel like some of you don't want to jump into anything, okay? Because there was a lot of healing that you did on yourself. And so you're like, kind of like, you're resisting some changes that are coming, okay? But again, you were confused in the past and you're not anymore. There's also, you got a gift that's coming in from the universe. This could be monetary, finances, like a job or career. This could be love, health. Well, something's coming in because you also have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, so I really believe that this is something like an omen that's coming towards you. And plus, if I'm not mistaken, now I don't know, like I haven't done my my uh, my planetary uh, aspects of the charts, okay? Because usually I do that. Uh, but I think Capricorn is falling into Saturn. I don't know if anybody's here that knows this, but something about Capricorn following into uh, Saturn or something for another 28 years. It's a new cycle. So Capricorn, you're in your power in the month of December. So take your power back, okay? Because there's victory here, okay? You got the Six of Wands. and This is victory. You got it twice. Look, you got the Six of... Here, twice. Victory, okay? I really feel for a lot of you that you're going to have victory, okay? Within every... And everything like whatever it is for love if it's for finances and some of you have to make a decision too capricorn okay you have to open your heart and that's another thing because it keeps saying open your heart open your heart and but you have to make a decision because there's something that's going to be like pulling you on both directions i feel here so there's something that you're going to have to make a decision about okay and you are going to be standing in your power capricorn i do believe that uh, that you will um hear some of you are going to be making a lot of money, okay? And this is um, around you, okay? Uh, There's a new opportunity that's coming in where you could be making a lot of money or like, or you're going to own your own house or property or you're going to be grounded or this is someone in your same sign as you, like which is an earth sign that's coming towards you, all right? This is general reading, so it's kind of hard for me to give like, um, to give who... You know, if you need a personal reading, then you could contact me on my email or or you could contact contact me on instantgo.com, okay? I feel that there's someone that's coming in for you that's very passionate and loving. They could also have a Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries in your chart, okay? In their chart, sorry. Something that's very passionate, someone very passionate, okay? And uh, there's something that you're not seeing, now, you're going to say, but what, what is it that the angels... Okay, well, the angels, the way they show, it's not only in numerology. You have to be aware of, like, when you're walking outside, if you hear a name or if you see something, like a name, or uh, or you're, you're going through somewhere and you hear a conversation and you think it's for you, or you're watching TV and you see something and it resonates with you, and songs. They keep showing me songs for you, okay? Listen to songs, because, song, because there's something that you're, like, you're... 
they're showing you. But, you know, I feel that you are, I don't know, it's not for all of you, but they're showing you. They're trying to show you here, okay? This is judgment for you, okay? There's a judgment from the, it's, it's faded. And again, it's faded with, with the queen, okay? It's faded with the queen of cups. So this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but this is faded, okay? It's coming from the angels, this, okay? It's coming from the one, the creator, uh, you know? And you're gonna you're gonna see things clear, okay? A lot of yous are also tarot readers. A lot of yous are very intuitive. You're healers. Uh, you you're getting the messages. Maybe some of you don't want to see the message. It could also be that Capricorns. You know, not all of you, but not maybe sometimes you don't want to. I don't know, you know, because I see here in December you're gonna have look, okay? Again, I get this. This is like six of cups here. Someone from your past is coming back. And this is what they're bringing in with you. Passion, creativity, something that you're going to be creating with this person, okay? It's passionate. It's a very passionate relationship. Wow. It's awesome. So happy for you, okay? And it's going to be like an unexpected message that's going to come to you. Something unexpected. You, didn't, you would not expect it, okay? And here you go. That's your twin flame, okay? This is it's like, I mean... <laughs> Your twin flame is is around you. This could be the second to the third week of December. But I feel that I feel for some of you that you already caught you are you are already talking to this person again. Uh, still, you still I think that someone already came back, and you're already talking to this person from your past. It could be that in the month of November you start talking or in December. Okay, but it is a twin flame union that's coming towards you, and I feel a lot of you's. Now, now, that's not all for Capricorns, but from, from I, I'm, I'm feeling for some of you Capricorns, okay, that this twin flame union, okay, with this twin flame union here, okay, uh, the reason I feel like a lot of you have like some kind of like, you don't believe in it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, now, again, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that this is for a man, not for a woman. It could be also for a woman, but I'm really feeling, I'm picking up that, the man, this man does not, like you Capricorn, someone, one of you out there, don't believe in th these twin flames. You don't believe in this thing, okay? I, 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 I'm really getting it strong, but she is, or he is, your twin flame, okay? And again, here it tells me it's a Cancer, okay? So it's a Cancer, Cancer. It could also be a Sagittarius, but this is a Cancer card, the Chariot. You're going to be moving forward with this person, okay? You walked away from this person, in the past you walked away for whatever reason it was you walked away you did but here she is or he is again okay and you're gonna be moving forward and making a decision and you healed okay you healed from something that was really hard on you okay um, if it was like this around it means that you were still healing but here it shows me that this was something in the past okay and right now you're just like some of you are are just like uh, looking, uh, um, you know, you're you're reevaluating, reassessing. You're still doing that, okay? And uh, you you know you will have the strength to go through this, okay? You will have the strength to go through this. You need to have patience, okay? Patience. And um, you know, I feel that um, in the past, like you're just waiting. A lot of yous are just waiting. But I also feel in the past it was someone that was very, uh, you know, was not nice with their words. Uh, I don't know, maybe, um, you know, not um, not a good person, you know, like, um, like I'm getting like an, maybe there was like an Aries. Uh, no, sorry, not Aries. Uh, I made a mistake, sorry. I meant to say air sign, which is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, okay? And this person really like, you know, um, they, you know, they weren't nice at all, okay? And, and a lot of you feel stuck. There's a, there's a, like, from some, from someone from your past, there's, like, you feel stuck, okay? Like, you don't have patience, you lost your faith, okay? And the love is gone. It's done, okay? There's, like, you're reevaluating everything. Yeah. And you're already looking forward. You're looking forward, like, you're looking, you're moving forward, but you're also looking to the future and making plans for yourself for the future, okay? Again, I feel that this has to do with belief systems here. Belief systems, 
Like you don't believe in some things. I don't know. Now this is not for all of you Cappies, okay? Just remember it's a general reading. And a lot of you are like on guard. Okay, because you're scared to get hurt again. You're scared that you're you're gonna get defeated. But there is happiness that's returning back in your home. There's gonna be happiness, celebration, a level relationship that's coming towards you. And it's genuine, okay? For some of you, it could also be a Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay, very passionate person, very creative. Um, you know, maybe in the past. Um, okay, this was um, now with with the Sagittarius. Okay, if there's a Sagittarius or um, or Leo or Aries, it's going to take a to, this relate. If if it's uh, this person coming in for you, they have like Libra. Sagittarius, something like that in their chart, okay? But at the same time, there's going to be a lot, of, like if you're going to choose to be with this person, there's going to be a lot of work because I feel that there's a lot of suitors here and you're going to have to choose and that's why you're going to, I see that there's an indecision going on, okay? But you have the sun that's shining there and some of you are, uh, are going to walk away without like uh, thinking about it, or like you're just going to walk away. Uh, the angels ask, uh, they're saying, please have patience. Take the time because you're going to have to choose, okay? And it's like you're carrying a lot on your shoulders right now. You're carrying, oops, sorry. See, you're carrying a lot on your shoulders right now. But it's the end of this, okay? There's new beginnings starting for you. And the thing is that where I keep I keep seeing is that, um, what I keep seeing is that for, for most of you is that there's going to be a lot of people coming towards you, Capricorn, okay? And one of them is your twin flame. And you're going to have to reevaluate. It could be that, like I said, from your past, but it could also be, but you're talking to many different people. So you probably don't know that she, she or he is your twin flame. And you need to do a gratitude list, okay, uh, Capricorn, because they're asking me that you need to feel the gratitude that you have around you because you have a lot around you, okay? And I, I see that there's an apology coming towards you. Okay, someone coming back to apologize. Maybe it doesn't mean that they're going to come back in your life and stay with you, but there's some kind of closure you need and you will get your closure, okay? Now, I'm just going to take one more card. Okay. What are the messages? I'm so happy for you, Capricorns. I'm so excited. Please have the faith, okay? Keep your thoughts positive, your intentions positive, because this is coming in for you and you deserve it. Because, you know... You've been through a bad cycle for many, many years, and there's a new cycle coming in for you. And, you know, the angels and the universe, wanna, they want to give you all these blessings, but you're going to have to believe and have faith and just know that you're going on the right path, okay? Messages. Capricorn. December. And this one song that I know that's playing, okay, in the background here is from you two. It's uh, you give yourself away, okay? And this is uh, with or without you, okay? I just heard this that I, you know, my spirit guides told me, no, you have to mention this to them. Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't know who this is for, but I feel like it's for someone that's watching this and someone that needs answers here, okay? You feel stuck. I think it's when in December there's going to be a lot of people around you and you're going to start feeling stuck. Now, it's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, okay? But this is completion. It's a completion card. You you learn from all your past, uh, your, you learn from all your past uh, experiences. People call it lessons, but I don't call them lessons because they were not lessons. They were experiences that we had to go through, okay? So you learn from all your past experiences with family, friends, lovers, whatever it was. You There's something that's complete for you, and there's a new cycle coming. Some of you are also going to be traveling here, okay? And it shows me right now that at this moment you are not with your twin flame, but you are coming together, okay? You are, okay? You are. You are coming back together. Okay? So let's see what else they say here for you. The, mes the messages, okay, are going to be delayed a bit. But they're going to come in, the messages, okay? This is concerning... 
your soulmate, because there's also a soulmate energy that's coming, but the messages are just a bit delayed. It's only normal that they're, they're, they are delayed, okay, because of, you know, the challenge here, because there's a transformation you, have, you still have to go through, okay, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune is on your side, so you do have the Wheel of Fortune on your side, and uh, when that takes place, you know, when that takes place, everything's going to turn around for you, okay? Again, you got the Ten of Swords. Now, a lot of people see this card as a bad card. I don't. I think that the Ten of Swords, yes, it showed me that you went through a lot. But, okay, it's a new beginning. You're not going to feel like this anymore. There's going to be a new beginning for you. And it's a one, okay? So it's really beautiful to see that. Okay, um, a lot of yous will, are not sleeping at night. You're not able. You're having insomnia. You can't sleep. You're awake at late hours of the night, okay? I see that. And... Um, you're not going to have this weight on your shoulders anymore. Again, another 10. Two 10s. 10, 10. New beginnings are happening. Okay? New beginnings for you in everything. Okay? Again, you got another 10. 10 of Pentacles. This is this is like a beautiful card to get. It's like one of the most abundant cards to get in a tarot reading. Okay? This is like uh, uh, just, um, you know... A, a, you know, you feel grateful, you feel very, you feel grateful for all you have, you have so much appreciation, um, you know, in a household, maybe it's a monetary that's coming in, uh, you know, something new uh, that's gonna, you know, with family and friends, or even your partner that you're gonna have in the month of December, okay, and some of you I feel are not working, I feel some of you are not working here, okay, but the wheel of fortune is here, and I do believe that some of you, not all of you, the, the, especially the ones that are not working right now, I feel that there's something big that's coming towards you, okay? In finances, it's coming for you. And a lot of you, your intuition are, is very good. Please follow your intuition and don't doubt yourself, especially the tarot reader that's coming here to check if, because I feel again, because I, I feel the energy, okay? I work with energy. So just know that there, I feel that there's a, um, someone that's very intuitive, okay? Uh, and also a tarot reader, uh, I believe that you are uh, also, um, you know, you are coming here to get confirmations because there's so much sometimes that a psychic could do for herself, you know what I mean? Uh, so over here it tells me that, you know, a lot of you, okay, um, with this with uh, with this uh, water sign here, a lot of you are, are not wanting to start a new beginning right away with this person, if it's a water sign. Now, it's not going to be for all of you, it's going to be for some of you, okay? But it's because your heart is not open. And you're scared to be vulnerable, okay? You're not, your 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 heart is not open, and I believe it has to do with belief systems as well, okay? Because but this is judgment. This is something that uh, it's a judgment call, okay? It's it's like it, this is like the angels and that's bringing you the one unit that's bringing this to you, okay? Again, again, look, look, I have to show you this, I, okay? You got the six of cups, okay? I'm sorry for let me just move my lamp a bit because I don't like the fact that. It's, Hold on, let me see what I could do here, not to get the glare, okay. You got the Six of Cups, okay? That was the first card. Someone from the past, passionate, loving relationship. Your twin flame. And you got again the Six of Cups. So it's someone, some of you, it is, this is a direct message for some someone. I know I'm reading for somebody here, okay? I'm reading for somebody here, and um, that wants a confirmation Please let me know in the in the comments, okay? If this is for you. Yeah, again here, okay. This person in the past that hurt you, okay, was uh was a um was like a, an air sign. Again, I'm getting uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Um, you had to walk away. You healed from it, okay? But you are gonna be moving forward. Okay, and um, you're gonna have to you're gonna have strength to go through this. Okay, uh, what else is your um, again? You know, I'm getting a lot of air energy from your past. Okay, some like you felt defeated. You felt defeated. You're unbalanced. You're still you're you're healing, but you're unbalanced because you know you you suffered immensely and you have your guards up. But be careful of this person, because this person, yes, is it could be very direct and very sharp with the words. But when they're like reversed, it's even worse. Okay, so be careful. Nothing bad is gonna happen to you, but just be careful because this person will use will use uh, because 
they will see you moving on. And I don't think that like, like something here, you know, that they, like because I feel like over here you did get like this card, okay, which is the four of wands where uh, celebrations with somebody getting together with somebody. I don't know if she's not she's he or she is not gonna react very nice to it. This is someone from your past, also. I feel you have the sun shining here. This is the most uh, this is like also the Leo card. Because you could also be a Leo yourself. Maybe you're a Capricorn and you have Leo in your chart. But you have the sun shining on this, okay? You have the sun. Actually, you have the sun shining twice on this. You got the sun twice. Whether it's reversed or not, it doesn't really matter. Because the sun is the sun. And it will shine on you no matter what, okay? And it's really beautiful, uh, Capricorn. I'm really happy for you, okay? Um, and... This trans you are going to be going through a transformation where it will make you feel a bit shaky. But just know that I, w I really would like you to, uh, uh, for some of you, do a gratitude list, okay? So this was your reading, uh, Capricorn. Now, I'm going to take out uh, my Oracle cards because my spirit guides are always telling me, that, and my angels, of course, they're saying that um, the Oracle cards, okay, are as much, okay, I'm going to put them like this now. Because now there's too many and it's going to take time. So I'm just going to put them all together and figure it out after. Like that. I could just get this out of the way for you. And get you. The Oracle cards are very powerful messages that come through. Sometimes <clears throat> the Tarot cards are powerful too. But not as powerful as affirmations. And as the Oracle cards. Okay. So let's. I already started. I already um, shuffled them. Okay. So let's just uh, do one more shuffle. Okay. One more shuffle. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, ri uh, Rising Sign, Venus for the month of December 2017. Love. So what? So this is a, this deck here. It's called Nature's Whispers. For all of you that are out there, please get this deck for Oracle cards because they are amazing. I love the how the I love how they created this deck. Uh, I want to thank Annie actually. She's the one that she, uh, she's a subscriber here, and a lot of people, uh, not only Annie but so many other people, have. Uh, donated uh, cards, uh, oracle cards, tarot cards to me, and I use them in my videos, you know, so I'm very grateful for you, Annie, thank you so much. Um, these oracle cards are awesome, uh, the way they painted it, the way they drew it, it's, I don't want to show you now, so what are the messages that you want to give to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in December of 2017 for love, for singles, what would what is it that you want to tell them? Sometimes it takes time for the cards to come out because it needs to take, they can't just they're you know they're what are the messages for Capricorns? Oh wait a second, what are the messages? Oh, there's too many here. Sorry, yeah. What message do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay, you got two, and then we'll take a card. This is a moon deck that I got here near um, in Canada and um, these are affirmations with numerology okay because numerology is very important what are the messages okay here we go what are the messages for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus for December 2017 that was fast okay so we're going to start with uh, Nature's Whisper. <clears throat> the first card you got is Make a Decision. Look at that. <laughs> Number 11. Like, come on. You see what I mean? That's why I love doing these card readings. I'm so, I'm so passionate for them. So here, I can't explain to you. So I'm going to make, I feel like, like I was saying, in, in you're going to have to make a decision. Okay, that's, that's, you're going to have to make a decision. You cannot be not being a decision because what happens when you don't have that is that um, when you don't make a dis decision, you're blocking yourself. You're going to be stagnant. I feel like, sorry, in December, there's going to be a lot of people coming towards you. Okay, because it's going to be your time, Capricorn. It's like, take your power back, okay? But you have to make a decision and you have number 11 here. But you can look at it and see what you feel from this card. Look how beautiful this card is. Look how beautiful Capricorn. So beautiful. Huh? These are confirmations here. And number 44. So look at this. If a lot of you have been seeing the number 1144, okay, this is a confirmation for you too, okay? 
And it says, Seek Beauty. Wow, look how beautiful this card is. Now the angels are asking me to tell you, just look at it and see what you envision. Because a lot of you are very intuitive. I'm not supposed to tell you what this card is. They're asking me for you just to look at it. And they're asking you to seek beauty. So you should know what you what this message means to you, Capricorn. There you go. 1144. Wow, the angels. Oh my God. Manifesting. Next card you got is number 24. Okay. And uh, look how beautiful this card is. Okay, look how beautiful. It's a lotus, right? And there, <laughs> look how beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay, your affirmation, you could repeat after me. This helps, okay? The affirmations really do help. And it says, I love myself completely and unconditionally. I love myself completely and unconditionally. Here you go, Capricorns. My beautiful Cappies, I love you very much. You know, Cancers, I'm a Cancer, by the way. Cancers complement Capricorn, you know, we're two cardinal signs. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for being here. I love you very much. I hope that you have a beautiful December. I'll see you in the mid-month. Take care of yourselves, and bye.